It's moving great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, any contractions? No. No. Tell me what you're worried about today, Mama. Um, nothing really bad for me. Tummy's growing great. Have you pre-registered for delivery yet at the hospital? No. Okay, we need to get you set up to do that too. Okay. We'll give you that packet. What hospital are you going to, babe? Uh, Northwest. Northwest, okay. Is your baby kicking through? Go ahead and bend your knees. Let your legs fall real heavy to each side. So just butterfly them up. Should we need a Northwest packet for pre-registration? Oh, what do you have in, babe? A uh, girl. A girl. Are you going to breast or bottle feed? Uh, I'm going to try and breast. Breast. Okay, good. And have you picked a pediatrician yet? Uh, no. Not yet? Okay. I'll give you a card. Relax those legs down, babe. This is just going to be a little vaginal rectal swab. It is not very comfortable. I'm sorry. Okay, you're going by your bottom. Good. Then I'm going to check you real quick, okay, and just see if the baby's head down. See if you're dilated at all, okay? So just try to relax as much as you can. It's easier said than done. Good, you're doing great. You're dilated as soon as there. Um, the cervix is about 50% face to the end. Your baby's got hair. I can feel your baby's hair. <laughs> Okay, so the cervix is open a little bit. That's good. Do you want help sitting up, babe? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So the girls will get you a Northwest packet. You need to call to the hospital to Northwest and set an appointment to go sign permits for delivery, okay? okay. Um, it's just like you fill out the birth certificate and sign permits for vaginal delivery and C-section and all those things. So we'll give you that packet. They like you to pre-register on the phone or online, just in the hospital-wide part, like just to get your insurance information. And then they have you go up to labor and delivery, but they like for you to have an appointment and sign the permits. It's just easier to do it before you go into labor, okay? Because usually you're kind of hurting when you're, so you're one. That's good, that's a real good start. Bundle height's grown really good. So labor warnings, you call us for contractions five minutes apart for one to two hours you can't walk or talk through, or that's worthy of going to the hospital. Vaginal bleeding, blood running down your leg like a period. If your water breaks, big flow, constant trickle, if you don't know, that's hospital worthy, okay? Or if you're worried about fetal movement. Okay. Um, you'll probably have some bleeding from your exam today just when you wipe. A little bit of blood is okay. Bloody show is normal. Bleeding like a period, not normal. Okay. Okay, okay guys. So, this morning I got a call from the nurse saying that I missed my appointment. It was like 12, 10. And I thought it was July 12th because they had told me July 12th at 8.45. But I guess not. So, they told me if I wanted to go in at 1. I said yes. So, I had to hurry up and shower because I didn't know if they were gonna check my cervix or not, and they did. So I'm gonna update y'all on that. Oh my God, I'm sweating because I turned off the car. But yeah, they um they checked my cervix and they tested for the group B. 
and they also gave me the papers to register at the hospital that I'm going to. Um, they told me I am one centimeter dilated. I am 37 weeks and three days. And I'm one centimeter dilated. <clears throat> so yeah, and I weigh 160, 168 pounds. I'm like what the heck? I think, oh yeah, it makes sense. Last time I was 164. I thought I was 160, but I was like, there's no way I gained like eight pounds. So. So yeah, that's all the updates for right now. I have another appointment the 13th. And then another appointment. And then another appointment. And then another appointment. So yeah, I've been walking every day for like 40 to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour. So that's good. But yeah, I am right here in my car sweaty because I turned it off because I'm here at Burlington. And I'm just going to go look because I'm bored. But yeah, I'm leaving because it's freaking hot. Oh, another thing is that when she was checking my cervix, it really hurt so bad. And she said she felt her head and she felt hair. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's all I want to let you yeah, know. Um, oh, and I'm recording on my phone. Because why not? So my quality is gonna be bad, but I don't care. But yeah, I'll do like a little haul what I get from here. So see y'all later. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, so basically, I just got some little things that I need for my hospital bag for me. I was gonna get some stuff for baby, but. I couldn't find anything that I liked. So, yeah. So, first thing I got is some socks. Because I need socks. Um, for the hospital. Because the socks that I have are, like, the short ones. They're the Walmart ones. So, yeah. These were only $2.99 from American Eagle, as you can see right there cheap and they're so comfy I can wear with my pajamas and then I got some ligas because I really do need them I'd be using a little I don't know what it's called but they say you also need a liga to pull your hair back when you're in the labor room Okay, then I also got some underwear. I got three pairs for $10.99. See? Um, I got these because I only got one pair. And I don't even think they're underwear. I think it's like a like a shape um, shapewear Spanx, something like that. Well, it is, I think, oh yeah, I think it is an underwear. But I know I'm gonna need more than one, so I bought more. So yeah, these are the smooth waist shaping underwear, which I like because um, it's gonna be tight in my stomach. And I heard that after you deliver, um, you just feel like everything's just falling out. So I wanna feel tight. So that's all I got, literally. So if you want to see my hospital bag, I will be doing that video soon. So stay tuned. So yeah. Okay, this is going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to update y'all on my appointment that I had today. And yeah. See y'all on my next video. Bye.